everybody it's Pam with silver and sparkles and I am um, I'm playing with this fun brown paper that comes um, often when you order things online right um, I don't know about you guys but Amazon visits my house uh, more often than than I should admit and a lot of times you get this packaging um, in the boxes um, with things and so sometimes it's not very wrinkled and sometimes it's super wrinkly and wrinkled and um, I just really like it it's thin and there's so many things you can do with it so I do have a stash um, here in my craft room <laughs> and I'm making some fun things with it so the first thing I did was I, I started making some ephemera uh, to put in this journal that I'm working on and the decorative papers here are the September kit uh, by Pink Monarch Prints which I love. I love all of their um, kits but the monthly kit is so fun because there's just so many bits and pieces and papers that come with it. So anyway I just started making some ephemera using some of the scraps and tickets and tags and images um, from the kit, but I used this packing paper um, as the base for all of it. And I just think they look nice and grungy and junk journaly, but really pretty with all the colors. This is going to be, I think I'm going to use this one um, as a page edger. Um, we may trim it down or I may use it as a belly band. I, I haven't decided yet, but I think these are all going to be cute on different pages or on tags and things that I make. And then I did a couple of just kind of small collages that again, I think on some of the pages will be really beautiful. And I just kind of have to decide where I want to put everything. Um, and then and then I was like, well, I need to just make a journal with these papers because they're so pretty. And there's full-size papers, and then there's these um, that when you print them, I think I, I don't know if I have one. Maybe I do. When you print them um, like this, and you can, you know, fold them over and use them as journal pages. You can print on both sides if you want to. Um, I just backed a bunch of them uh with this brown paper. So I just um, took my glue stick and I spread it all over. And then I took a piece of this <laughs> and I laid it down and I just smoothed it all out really good. And if the corners were lifting up a little bit or whatever, I just went back in with some more glue. And then I trimmed them so that they have just a little bit of an edge around them because I kind of want them to start crinkling up and get nice and junky for me. So I love reusing materials when I can. And now I just have to go through and decorate this really pretty journal. Um, but I'm happy with it and where we're going with it. So anyway, I just thought I'd show that to you. Um, Cause I like how it's turning out and I love all the texture, you know? Um, I've taken this paper before and even taken an iron and pressed it out when I needed it to be flat, but then you still kind of see the wrinkles. I think it's super fun. So today I just thought I would share with you some ideas of some fun um, pieces of ephemera you can make using some scraps and using some of this paper. And um, so we'll do that. So you can use any paper you have, and if you have bits and pieces and scraps or pieces that you've um, torn off and you want to work with, grab those. Like I said, I'm uh, making some pretty things with this particular kit, so I'm going to stay with it. Um, I think it's a nice, not necessarily the traditional, traditional fall colors, but certainly a nice transition into, you know, fall from the summer. So I'm just gonna randomly tear a few pieces um, of this paper so that we have some to work with. Um, I definitely wanna do another um, strip. And the height of those really depends on the size of your journal, um, you know, how tall you want them to be. I want mine to be approximately the height of one of the inside pages, which is about seven inches. So I'm going to 
this paper is really thin, so you've got to really press press down um, when you're doing that. So let's see how mine is too long. So I'm going to just tear it off here, and we'll do a little bitty one. And now this one is a little less than seven inches, which is fine. Um, and I've got a square, and maybe we'll do... Um, another piece that's more of a kind of a taller rectangle. All right, we'll see how many we decide to make. Um, but it's just a fun way, like I said, to start using up these papers. Another idea is you can leave, you know, leave a large piece and just um, collage on it and then cut it up into the pieces that you want. That would be fun too. And I may do that at some point. Um, and I love this little mermaid that I put on this one. All right, so um, whenever you're collaging, you know, it, it's a, it is a good way to use up um, some of your papers. But I like to just start layering some, some papers um, on and see where my heart where my heart goes. Um, it's fun to have, if you want a stack, you know, like a scrap buster stack of ephemera, it is fun to go ahead and randomly start placing papers from some of the um, same piece so that they sort of tie in together, if that makes sense. So um, you don't have to do it that way, but I'm kind of approaching this almost as like a mass make, right? Like how can we get, the finger tear that one, how, how can we get a bunch of pieces made um, with our pile of scraps quickly? Uh, and I'm gonna do a finger tear on this one too. Give it a little bit different look. And we certainly don't have to go by what I've already made, but they are there for inspiration. I'm gonna get out my Distress Ink, and as usual, I'm using the Walnut Stain, and I do like giving most of the edges a little bit of ink. And again, you don't have to put a, a piece of the same paper on every one but it will make your pieces sort of tie together if you want to. But again, if you want to make, I've got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six laying out here. If you want to make six along with me and they all look completely different, that would be great too. Um, when I'm crafting with true scraps, you know, things that are just left over on my desk or that I've thrown into my scrap bin, not because I don't like them, but just I haven't gotten to them yet. Um, or they're just, I did a big project and they're the, the random pieces left over. Um, when that happens, I um, often, that's when I like doing like the, the collage master boards and things like that because it is just beautiful how all the different scraps come together. Or I think it is anyway. Okay, so I need to probably find um, something that can serve as some of my focal images or as some tab tags, those types of things on here. And I haven't noticed, I just started playing with this kit and there are a few words, but there's not like a lot of sheets of words on here just yet. Um, I don't believe so and that's okay but I love to craft with words so we may end up um, just looking for my punch we may end up writing some words um, by hand. we'll see all right I'm just gonna pull a string out of here you guys are used to me grabbing <laughs> my bag and depending on what I'm working on it it changes here and there all right let's see what I can do with this cute little tag I decided I wanted a little texture on this one with some string this is just like a baker's twine I guess that has um a little bit of gold running through it I'm gonna see if this is long enough to tie a bow at the top A 
a lot of my um, pieces of string and ribbon and everything. Some are things that I bought recently, but a lot of them are from my stash that have been around for years. Guys, I'm just going to put a dot of glue on that little bow I tied. So when it dries, I don't have to worry about that. Um, I don't have to worry about it coming loose. I'm just going to prop it right there, see if we can keep it on there. Um, so I can't always tell you guys where I've gotten things <laughs> because they're old. Um, or they're just a little piece here and there. I also love to shop i think i've told you guys at the different craft consignment type stores um so if you see something i'm using that you like i apologize if i'm not able to remember or come up with where it came from <laughs> all right i think i need to start deciding which one i want to work on and focus on. I was trying to just get us a few little pieces out here um, first. Ooh, butterflies. I love butterflies. And I may or may not use these tags as they're cut out. Um, but I'm just going to get a few that I think have some images that I might want. Here's some circles. And I need something else here. Let's see what I've got. Um, I love these tags and I printed them on both sides. So sometimes I really hate, I hate using them, um, to glue down, but I'm going to, so that I can have a little bit of both. Hmm. Oh, fun. Look at all the different things. See, it's just, even though I've cut these out, so I've obviously looked at them at some point, um, there's just so much to look at. It's sometimes hard to remember. I am going to, and there, there's a whole, like two or three pages of fussy cuts, which I haven't even gotten to yet. I am filming this before I leave for vacation, and it'll go up um, sometime next week. And um, I am probably, and I tend to do this, because sometimes, you know, when you're on vacation at the beach, it rains, and or you just need a little bit of inside time out of the sun, something like that. So I usually print off <laughs> some things and take my scissors, and then if we're watching a movie, or like I said, I just need something to do. If it's raining, I might cut, just cut, cut out fussy cuts. So I have a feeling I will be doing that a little bit, maybe, while I'm on vacation. Um, it's, uh, when you're really passionate about your hobby and then now that I am, um, crafting full time, um, it's not like work, you know, it's just, oh, I have pretty papers that I want to play with. And so I, I will probably take them with me. I have also been not known on vacations to take rolls of washi tape and just my big bin of scraps and, tape and glue together snippet strips and then when I get home I sew them and have a, have a good old time and my husband just smiles at me and he usually reads or again we're watching tv or a movie or something with a little bit of downtime I think he likes that I'm happy so that's what matters right all right we're just going to start gluing these down and um they're going to be used as page accents to decorate pockets, as page edgers, just all kinds of things. This one will be, of course, a little tab. So I will have all kinds of pieces to decorate that journal that I'm working on. It's just a soft-sided journal that um, I'll enjoy having. I have subscribed to the Pink Monarch prints um, monthly kit for well since it started I think I think I was in on the beginning maybe not um and I and now that I do guest designing for them um and if you didn't know that go check out the videos I've done for them on their their channel I'm thinking about doing a quick video showing you guys um just kind of showing you some of the things I've made that are featured on their channel. But anyway, I'll think about that. If you want me to do that, let me know. Leave me a comment. Tell me if that would be of interest. But anyway, um, one of the 
the perks is that I have access, you know, to their paper kits so that I can create content for them. And I, an idea I had, because I haven't done it, is I really would like to keep for myself from each monthly kit one of the little journals that I make because I love their papers and sometimes I don't have time to go back and play with them. Sometimes I do because I definitely have favorites, but um, that way I could easily have a visual reminding me um, what you know, each month's kit is. So I was thinking that would be fun. So I've got to find time to do that for myself. <laughs> All right, that is still drying where I put that little knot. But again, I think this one will be really pretty. It could even be used as a pocket or a tuck spot. Um, this paper is so thin, it's a little difficult to get ink on the edges if you want to distress the edges with some ink. Um, you can, it just kind of, you have to be persistent. <laughs> um, and one thing I had thought of, and I hadn't tried it, is to kind of hold it with some cardstock underneath. And that helps a little bit. Get that edge. Get it distressed. Okay, so there's one. I love how it turned out. So there's one. And I kind of want to do a little one somewhere in this huge pile are some of these whale tabs that I've already punched out. I did not organize myself very well for this video, um, but I will persevere. I think this will be a good size for my little mini whale tab idea. And we will solve that problem by getting my punch out and we'll just punch out some other one. And I'm gonna punch it out of this tag here, just to get this darker blue. Okay, and if you don't have one of these punches, because that's ancient to you, I'm sure, I'm sure someone maybe still makes one or makes a newer version, but in this kit, there's several that you can just then cut out with your scissors um, that are printed on there for you, which is nice because again, not everybody has the same tools. All right, so if I do this one, I kind of want to make a set of tabs to have, um, to put on the pages. And I'm not going to do them on every page, but maybe like, I don't know, five, seven, something like that. I like having odd numbers of things. This one's going to be a little bit wider. This one was kind of um, narrow. But, and I can put the tab on either side, depending on which page. And the other thing is, um, you'll see the tab on both sides, but just the, the decorated part on one side. So you don't really need to do the back. Or I can turn it sideways. Which side do I like it on? Hmm. I think I like it over here. All right, so we're gonna just glue it on. And then all I did was I did add a little eyelet and then used one of my bulb pens and a little dangle. So we'll do that. And all of these pieces, the eyelets, um, the hardware things, um, I have gotten on Amazon. And so if you're interested, not cute, um, in any of the, uh, that's too big, any of the supplies that I'm using, um, I have them linked. Oh, huh, there's my little charms. I have them linked on in the description for you. My Amazon storefront. And I'm supposed to tell y'all I am an Amazon affiliate. And that just means if you end up purchasing something um, from one of my links, I get a small payment. It's a few pennies. Um, but it's no cost to you. So anyway, if you um, are interested in seeing some of the things that I use, feel free to check that out um, just to get some ideas. Okay, um, I'm gonna kind of center this one. The other one I intentionally off-centered, but I'm just gonna do that. I'm just using a white eyelid. I don't know why I picked white, but I did. Still haven't figured out what's wrong with my crocodile. So, going old school with this eyelet setter here. 
Um, and again, I don't think they make these anymore either. But a friend of mine did tell me that she saw those on eBay, so like some used ones. So if that's something you are interested in, you may be able to find one on eBay. Okay, and then some little bulb pins. And I have all different colors, but I'm going to go with the gold since my charm is a gold color charm. And, um, you know, with dangles, sometimes I like to add little the little paper tags and all of that and have a whole cluster of dangles. So that's an option to you. For this one, I'm just going to stick the pin on. We'll see how it does. Cute, right? I think the crown is on backwards. I can flip it around later. Um, the mermaid didn't matter. She's the same on both sides. All right, so then that's one of the little um, paper tabs, and I think I will ha use them like that um, on the journal. And we did a collage. This is a little tiny collage. Let's do um, the strip piece, since I have it sitting here. Um, and what I did with the original one is I just started laying down some strips of paper, just wherever I felt like it. So we'll do that. Oh goodness. Um, and I did, guys, I asked you recently, fairly recently, um, what type of videos you were interested in. And I think I gave you a little bit of insight onto how you guys were voting, but overwhelmingly um, people want more fall crafts. So that, that's what, what's been told. Now I'm sure if I do that poll um, here in another month or two, um, Christmas or holidays <laughs> may, may come in stronger, right? But for right now, this was in August, um, folks definitely wanna see more um, fall crafts. So I'm going to put this one here. Um, I am working on that. I'm hoping once um, things settle down when I am back, I will have a new fall paper kit ready to go in my Etsy shop. And a freebie. I've already been working on the freebie and it features a bunch of different pumpkin cards with some sentiments that are all fall related. I love them. So even if I don't get the paper kit done or get it ready to go in time, I may just go ahead and do a video showing you guys the freebie and make some cards together. Um, and when I say card, it's not like a greeting card. It's like a journaling card um, or a flag card. You could use them. I guess you could turn it into a greeting card. Um, would be a good use for them. But um, oh, there's one of the whale tabs I was telling you guys about. See? Um, but anyway... I think those are gonna be really fun to play with. I love her, since she's sweet. So that's something to look forward to. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna set this circle on here, get some different shapes going. And again, we can keep embellishing or we can wait. I can always um, do more later. I am going to here, this is neutral enough. Let's add, let's add a word. So let me find my pen. And what do I want to say? Um, how about trust in new beginnings? Okay. Like I, I think I've shared with you guys, there's been so many new beginnings and, um, in our lives here lately with all these kids, I realized out of five of them, all four, four of the five all have um, either, well, three of them new apartments and one a new dorm apartment in college. <laughs> you talk about new beginnings, right? Um, when you move four of your five young adult children, all it was all within... Um, July and early August. Well, I guess Julie went back to school later in August, but um, it was a lot. It just felt like every week somebody was moving. And um, so if 
I don't think they watch my videos, but if they do, guys, trust in new beginnings and new jobs, right? New things. My daughter is loving New York. She's having such a good time, and that makes this mama's heart happy. Now, I did put a tab at the top of this one. I don't think I'm going to do that with this one, but um, I like that, and I can always go back when I get ready to add it onto a page and do that. So we've got a nice long strip we've made. We've made some page tabs. We did a collage. It's kind of like the collage. And this is just a larger collage and a smaller one. So I'm going to stop there. Um, if you guys want to see more of this journal here as I progress, let me know. I can always do another video as I add pockets and things and then add some of the beautiful things that we've made in there. I really don't think I'm going to use these just as things to put in the pockets, but actually on, on the pages themselves. So I'm going to give that a little bit of thought. But I do think, for example, these edgers are going to be so cute. And it's okay if they that could stick out like a tab too, right? And then look at how cute this is going to look. If we put this one. Whoa. Where'd it go? Did it slide in? It slid in because I haven't attached anything yet. But if we have that one there, we can have this one here. We can put them at different places. Um, this one here. How cute would that look? See how cute it's going to be? Yep. I'm happy with it. I like it. I don't know if we need too many more dangles. Maybe just we'll do like one dangle here. And then one more kind of at that place. And then the rest will be plain. I think they're cute. This one needs, I need to back it. If it's going to hang off, it needs to not look like that, not be bright white. So I will pick a piece of paper and just glue it down and then trim it out. And you can save yourself this by printing your labels and things on both sides or before you glue it down you can back it with a piece of paper like this but as you can see this is not going to be hard for me to fix I'm just going to trim it off there we go and I think it looks great everything's fixable. All right. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, um, leave me a comment. Thanks for your support. Y'all are great. Awesome. I appreciate every one of you. I'll use the butterflies soon. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.